Hello kids! Welcome to our lesson in Science 4 and for quarter 2. And we are now at week 7. And for this week, we're going to discuss animals and the food they eat. So, what do you think uh, the animals eat? Alright, so for some perhaps, they eat grass or plants or leaves. And for some, they eat meat. And for others like humans like us so we eat both um vegetables and meat so now let's have a quick go over of the food that the animals eat so first we have the herbivores herbivores are animals that primarily eat plants this means their diet consists of leaves grasses fruits and vegetables they have digestive systems specifically adapted to break down plant matter which is often tough and fibrous so we have here some examples of animals that eat plants or animals that are herbivores they have the cows cows are herbivores that primarily graze on grasses and other plants their diet consists of leaves, grasses, fruits, and vegetables. We also have rabbits. Rabbits are herbivores that eat leafy green vegetables and hay. For giraffes, so giraffes are herbivores that reach high into trees to eat leaves. And we also have elephants. Elephants are herbivores that consume large amounts of grass, leaves, and bark so as well as goats okay we also have the goats the cows the carabaos all right so we can consider them as herbivores as they feed on plants and grasses so herbivores play a vital role in the ecosystems by helping control plant populations and distribute seeds so paano ba distribute yung seeds so, when they eat plants or uh, for some grasses, so kapag nag-poop sila, pag nag-excrete nila yung waste product nila, so sumasama dun yung buto. And then kung saan sila nag, um, uh, and saan nila nilabas yung kanila waste product, so naiwan yung seeds and then after some time, nag-grow yung seeds na yon into another plant. So, that helps the plant and distribution of the seeds and to grow another plant as well so what are the crucial role of herbivores in ecosystems so shaping plant communities herbivores are important for keeping plant communities healthy when they graze they make sure different plants have a chance to grow not just a few strong ones for example in grasslands Bison grazing can help keep things interesting for a wider variety of plants. We also have seed dispersal and pollination. Many herbivores help plants reproduce by spreading seeds and pollinating flowers. Birds and bats eat fruits and drop seeds, which helps new plants grow. Insects like bees and butterflies collect nectar and spread pollen which helps flowers make new seeds and then nutrient cycling herbivores play a key role in nutrient cycling when they eat plants they release nutrients back into the soil through their waste this helps plants grow strong and keeps the whole ecosystems healthy and of course, maintaining ecosystem stability. Herbivores help ecosystems stable by preventing one plant from taking over. Their grazing helps create a diverse and resilient ecosystem, which is better to a uh, better able to cope with changes. So next, we have climate regulation. Large herbivores can help regulate the climate. Their grazing patterns can influence things like fire, how much sunlight reflects off the earth, and how much carbon is stored in the soil. So for example, grazing in grasslands can reduce the risk of wildfires by keeping vegetation from getting too dense. <clears throat> and then challenges to herbivore conservation, 
herbivores face threats like habitat loss, poaching, and conflicts with humans. When herbivore populations decline, it can disrupt food chains, change plant communities, and affect nutrient cycling. In conclusion, herbivores are important parts of ecosystem. They do many things to keep plants and the whole ecosystem healthy. Protecting herbivores is important for keeping our ecosystems healthy and strong. <clears throat> Now let's have the next group. We have the carnivores. Carnivores are animals that primarily eat meat. Their diet consists of other animals, such as mammals, birds, fish, and insects. They have sharp teeth and claws for hunting and tearing flesh, and their digestive systems are adapted to break down protein. So we have here, some examples so we have the lions lions are apex predators or predators that hunt large prey like zebras and wild beasts we also have the wolves they live in packs and hunt together to bring down deer elk and other prey and then sharks they have powerful jaws and sharp teeth for catching and consuming fish and other sea creatures. And of course, we have the snakes. They use venom to subdue their prey, which can include mammals, birds, and reptiles. Carnivores play a crucial role to the ecosystem by controlling populations of herbivores and other animals. They help to maintain balance in the food chain and ensure health of the environment now let's talk about the impact of carnivores on ecosystem so controlling herbivore populations carnivores keep herbivore populations in check preventing overgrazing and maintaining a healthy balance between plants and animals they also promote biodiversity by influencing herbivore distribution Carnivores help maintain a variety of plant and animal life, leading to a more diverse and stable ecosystem. And they also help in shaping ecosystem dynamics. Carnivores can have a significant impact on the entire ecosystem, altering the types of plants and animals present. For example, sea otters play a crucial role in kelp forest health by controlling sea urchin population. So, nagkakaroon talaga sila ng uh, malaking impact no, sa ating ecosystem. So, actually, lahat naman ng ating food groups ay malaking tulong sa ating ecosystem. So, they all help in maintaining the balance in our ecosystem. So, para rin silang system na kapag nawala yung isa, so maapektuhan yung balance sa ating kapaligiran. Kaya, uh, for example, um, kapag halimbawa um, yung snake, di ba? So, alam natin na very dangerous yung snakes, pero kapag na-extinct yung snakes, dadami naman yung mga rodents natin or yung mga rats. Kasi, isa din sa mga primary na mga kinakain no, ng ating mga snakes ay yung mga daga, and the like. So, kapag nawala yung snake, so, dadami yung population naman ng rodents. So, magkakaroon din tayo ng imbalance sa ating uh, ecosystem kapag ganon. So, kailangan balance lang, no? Para, uh, like for example, yung frogs, no? Yung frogs, kinakain niya yung mga insects, di ba? Katulad ng mga lamok, ng mga langaw, uh, for some, yung mga grasshoppers, so, kapag nawala naman yung mga frog, dadami naman yung population ng mga insects. So, magkakaroon din tayo ng problema kapag ganon. So, uh, we need to maintain the balance para maging maayos yung ating ecosystem in the long run. At maging um, hindi tayo magkaroon ng problema sa ating environment. So, kaya kapag may nawala, nagkakaroon ng problema or nagkakaroon ng imbalance or imbalance sa ating ecosystem. Now, let's have the last uh, group of um, 
yung eaters natin. We have the omnivores. So, pag herbivores, they only feed on plants. The carnivores only feed on meat. And when we talk about the omnivores, so they both eat plants and animals. So, they both consume plants and meat. So, omnivores are animals that eat both plants and animals. They have a more diverse diet than herbivores or carnivores, allowing them to adapt to various food sources and environments. So, for example, of course, nandyan tayo, humans. So, we consume a wide range of foods, including fruits, vegetables, meat, and fish. So, like us, meron din tayong bears. They eat berries, fish, insects, and even larger animals like deer. We also have pigs. They are known for their scavenging habits and will eat anything from roots and fruits to carrion. And we also have our raccoons. They are opportunistic feeders and eat a variety of foods including fruits, nuts, insects, and small animals. Omnivores play a vital role in the ecosystem by helping control populations of both plants and animals. They also contribute to nutrient cycling by consuming and breaking down various food sources. Alright, so that's it for the three large uh, groups, okay, the animals and what they eat. So again, for herbivores, they only feed on plants. Carnivores feed on animals or meat from the animals and the omnivores which feed both on plants and animals Okay, so for your formative assessment kindly answer the questions from 1 to 10 All right, so that's it for week seven. So thank you and I uh, hope to see you again on week eight. So this is Teacher Isa. See you again. Bye.